From News 5, here's your Power of 5 weather and today's top stories, sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital. I'm Mark J. Weather on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. A blast of wintry weather returns. Winter weather advisory, Erie County and West through 4 a.m. Thursday. Another 1 to 2 inches of snow for here, that area. Now a lake snow warning, 10 p.m. Wednesday night through 6 p.m. Saturday. Cuyahoga, Lake Geauga, Ashtabula counties. Generally 2 to 4, maybe 3 to 5 inches of snow just overnight tonight. And then we're going to add on once the squalls begin Tomorrow afternoon, on and off through Friday into Saturday. Here's the low intensifying, moving off to the north and east. Looks like we'll dry out for at least a little while before more of this snow begins to rotate in. So again, Thursday, 8 a.m., here's your expectations for snow. Two lakeshore counties, maybe a few spots of three or as much as four. Here in the snow belt, we'll go three inches. A couple of spots could approach four or five by 8 a.m. Thursday morning, much less Youngstown, Worcester, Lodi, Akron, to Mansfield, one to two tonight, and then less than an inch, Route 30, Canton, and Point South. Whew, that's a lot. Tonight, 24. Scattered snow should taper off before sunrise, at least this round. Tomorrow, we'll wait for the squall. Where will that squall go? It's up to Mother Nature right now. If you get under the squall, three to six inches by late tomorrow evening, okay? Keep an eye, 27, cold and windy tomorrow. It's windy everywhere with wind gusts to 45 miles per hour. You're in the 20s, wind chills single digits at times. 22 tonight for Akron, an inch, maybe two of snow. 26 tomorrow, cold and windy with some lighter snows during the afternoon. Friday, 27, lake effect continues. Sunny outside the squall. Saturday, lake effect ends. Still some sunshine, cold, 29. We begin the warm up Sunday, should be dry, and then Monday, 50s. Holy cow. Mark, today's other top story is a Cleveland pastor behind bars instead of leading his faithful tonight, charged with compelling prostitution. We're the first to tell you about the arrest of Randolph Brown last night on News 5 at 11. A lead pastor of the inner city missionary Baptist church is accused of paying a 13-year-old girl and a 16-year-old girl to have sex with him. Brown's scheduled to be in court Thursday morning. The automaker taking over the old GM Lordstown assembly plant just got a big show of support. First Energy signed a letter of intent with Lordstown Motors to purchase 250 of its Endurance electric pickup trucks. Lordstown Motors bought the plant last year, hopes to begin making that new electric truck by the end of this year. Turns out Cleveland is one of the top five cities to find work in in 2020. That's according to Glassdoor anyway. Job search site says mid-sized cities are the place to be to get a job this year. Many are growing tech hubs and offer lower costs of living. You know, but just days ago, the Wall Street Journal said Cleveland had one of the worst job markets of big cities. Hmm. For the latest news and weather, go to news5cleveland.com or open the News 5 app. Sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital.